And don't forget that Larry Hagman is back as good old JR still reeling from the Martinique masquerade in Dallas at ten past eight tomorrow. Turn on to the new season of drama on BBC One for Alan Bleasdale's four-part story of a private soldier who became the most wanted man in Britain, a monocled mutineer. Tell me about him. He was a hero. I didn't seem like one or act like one. You never knew what he was thinking or, or which way he'd go. And you never even knew till it had happened. You've seen him on your travels? Never seen him before in my life. Who do you work for? Liar. Every gun you can find, Inspector, and every man. Don't ever forget. If I hadn't met you, I'd have been dead all my life. Dead handsome, dead clever, dead smart, but dead. Well, stay Hello. still, love. Hey, <laughs> Paul McGann stars as the monocled mutineer starting on Sunday at five past nine on BBC One. Well, now Desmond Nynam introduces highlights of today's action from Stuttgart in the European Athletics Championships. Well, the European Athletics Championships are underway and it's already clear that the quality of performance will almost certainly match the last Olympic Games. No fewer than 20 world record holders are on show and one of them gave every indication this afternoon that he's back to sparkling form. Sebastian Coe. Britain's veteran sprinter also looks as though he's timed his preparation to perfection. It's unlikely the lady on the left, Marley's goer, will be beaten over 100 metres. The lady on the right, Paula Dunlo, did her best today. Look what can happen to favourites. Around three seconds into his day, Marian Boronin of Poland was out of the championships. Carla Burskins had a voluntary timeout from her event. Well, you must take liquids during the marathon. Some feet were made for walking. The first ever women's title was at stake over 10 kilometers. And who's a busy boy tomorrow? He's in for one of those fast sprinting, long jumping, shot putting, one lapping, high jumping kind of days. 